Morning, morning. It is right around eight o'clock. We camped back in there. Z is still packing up, but I'm packed up and I wanted to come out to the sun. Got cold again last night. Um, yeah, cowboy camping, eh, half and half. Wasn't a full mistake, but wasn't fully the preferred method either. But it is what it is. So we got some sunshine. Apparently, we're like only four miles from Kabuto Springs, which I highly doubt. I think it's more, but it might also only be four. Um, and then after that, we got two track walking for pretty much the rest of the day. So if we can make it these four miles, we should be in theory okay. In theory. That's never how theory works. I can still hear Z back in there playing Mac Miller over and over again. What you doing back there, bud? <laughs> he had to tape uh, tape his, uh, how do I put this PG-ish? He had to tape his uh, backside a little bit this morning. Um, I think I touched on it yesterday's video. He was uh, walking into camp with some hamburgered backside meat type situation. So... Had to slap some tape on there and uh, hope for the best, right? All right. Whew. I'm going to just sit here, kick it, wait for him to pack up. Uh, March 23rd, start of the 23rd day. We're going to go get it. We're almost officially at the halfway point, depending how you measure this trail. Some say it's 800 miles. Some say it's 830. Um, if you're measuring at 800, we're very close to the halfway point. We're at least halfway done with the amount of days. So like we're anticipating 44 to 45 days, was 40 to 45, but now it's like 45-ish. So day 23, we're like halfway. So cool, cool. All right, we're gonna go that way. A little bit of ice in our lives. A little bit of ice on my hands. A little bit of frostbite's all we need. A little bit of frostbite makes me happy. Oh yeah, she cold. She cold. Come on. Can't stop filming. Yep. Is it really even the Hey Duke? If there's not giant patches of ice and snow everywhere? I don't think so. At least our Hey Duke experience has led us to believe that the world is made of ice and snow with a little bit of sand. So cold, oh my God. Go that way. All right, so we're getting Agua here because I was hoping Cabado Springs was gonna be noise, but good thing Z looked at the maps because Cabado Spring on his map say seep, not really a spring. And then my maps say not very tasty, full of frogs. So this water straight off the snow, um, probably also maybe a cow patty up ahead somewhere, but I'll take this, I'll take this. All right, so Chibata Bun Spring is supposed to be around here somewhere. Uh, I mean, tomato, tomato. I could also go for some Chibata Buns right now, too. Oh, nice little bit of Chibata in my life. So, yeah, Chibata Springs is supposed to be around here somewhere. But, don't see it. That might be it. That very well could be it. Yeah, I have a feeling that's it. Um, water's better. Water's better down further in the canyon. So unless you have packed out Chibatas, I wouldn't rely on this water source. It's actually called Cabado Springs. Cabido, Cabado. Libido, Lobato. Oh, now I'm just getting weird. Um, we found a road, which is nice. I think the rest of our day is pretty much this, which is also nice. Make up some cruisy miles. All right, Shibata buns. So, like I said, road for the most part today. I don't know how much I'm gonna film. Um, if it's a cool road, I'll show you stuff, but 
90 miles of road walking, but I wanted to point this out, the footprints. Um, I don't know if I've pointed it out in yesterday's video, but we've been following three sets of tracks and they keep getting fresher. So it's possible we'll run into somebody today, tomorrow, who knows? That's pretty cool though. Oh yeah, bud. That's nice. Real pretty view. Up on that tabletop, about a mile or two, once you start walking the road, Verizon has quick spurts of service. I think it's about to go away again, so enjoy it while you can. Oh yeah. Must say, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Oh, that's nice. It even has a Hey Dookie Duke 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 sign. Does it? No. Oh. <laughs> never. Like, oh, you got me all they, they would never give you a Hey Dookie Duke 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 <laughs> sign. But I gotta look right. Yeah, look at Z. He's got a little road soda, bud. A little road soda? A little road soda water soda. Water. Road so, soda water. So, there was a guy. I didn't film his car. But when we first climbed out of the wash to this two track, there was a car about a mile in. And nobody was there, so didn't know really what was going on. And then he drove by about 20 minutes ago, maybe less. And first he offered a cold drink. I'm like, you got a soda? And he said, soda water. I'm like, Arr! I need to drink the three liters out of my pack. And then he offered to take our trash, which was super nice. Um, but I would have to break down my entire pack. And yeah, it's not worth it right now. So, so you took him up on the road soda, though. Road soda, water soda. Wait, road soda, water soda. Road Road water soda. Road soda water. Road soda water. There we go. I was putting too many words on it. All right, we cruising. For the past three days, these have been my lunches. It's been a sad time. But we got food ahead, so we're good. Got a little lunch break going on right now. He's over there, chefing it up. Making me so sad while I eat my dry, dry power bar. Yeah, how is that? It's a dry. Mm. I'm just over here rocking my burrito life. Yeah, it's definitely dry. So, a little drying out party going on. Um, sleeping bag from cowboy camping. Just got a little wet last night. Definitely from cowboy camping, not other extenuating circumstances. Um, Trying out some socks, some tent. We've already done 14 miles-ish. So, sitting pretty. Sitting real pretty. It's like a little after 1 o'clock. We'll probably get going around 2-ish. Maybe right around there. So, again, we'll probably be able to get some miles in today. And Pepsi! Pepsi, you say? Soda. Oh, is there a road soda in our future? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like I'm stoked. That. Yeah, I'm stoked too. Good stuff down that way. We just gotta go down that way. Nice. All right, Wahip Wash. As the sign says, time to do a little climb. Not too bad though. Let's get it. All right, so a little after three o'clock. Been climbing this to get up and over this ridge. Pretty smooth sailing though. But a um, little update time. So we have a decision to make. Um, we're gonna hit our cache here in the next few hours. And from there, we have a decision to either stick to the Hey Duke regular route and go down a big loop and then up the Pariah River, or we could take an alternate into Tropic and then cut into Bryce Canyon and see more Bryce Canyon National Park. So I don't know which way we're leaning. Um, one, on the one hand, if we go through Pariah, River, it keeps us on trail longer and um, keeps
leads you to the quote unquote regular route, but the Hayduke is meant for alternates. And on the other hand, if we go through Tropic, we get town, uh, we get a little bit of Nero day, rest day probably, uh, better resupply, and we get to see more of an awesome national park. Looks like it puts us like right through like the very popular spot. So I don't know what, you, what we're gonna do yet. Got a few more hours to decide. Um, both of them are okay. It is the Dookie Duke where the name of the game is just figure out your way across um, with also staying true to the mileage. That's kind of our, at least our rationale is like when we take alts, as long as we're not cutting off any miles, we're good. Um, and the alts that we take sometimes are harder, but they put you through more beautiful stuff. Um, at least our name of the game is connected footsteps. Stay true to the official as much as possible, but take an alt if need be. So I don't know. That's what is going around my mind right now. We don't know what we're going to do yet, but we'll figure it out. In all honesty, Tropic, the Tropic alt might be more beautiful. Um, for the regular route that goes down to the Pariah, you got another day of road walking. So like the day to get to Tropic and the day to get to the Pariah River, you got road walking either way. And then the only difference is like that one day, you can either hike Bryce Canyon through Tropic or the Pariah River. So like, it's just flip-flopping one for the other. Again, we'll see, don't know yet, but I'm gonna just keep walking. Where's the Z-Man? He's somewhere back in there. Getting close to the top. All right, so it's a false summit. Brings you through the middle of the rock called the gut. So it drops down on the backside then it climbs again. So don't get too excited. You got a little bit of a false summit action. Beautiful though. Ooh, here's the top. I think that's Governor's Arch or something. Ooh, super windy up here. Not gonna stay up here too long. Time to get down. There's a whole bunch of water right before Governor's Arch or Grosvenor's Arch. And you can rely on it, um, apparently. That's at least what the source says. So if you're in need, there's some good agua right there. But we are not, so we're going to keep cruising. Real pretty. Even a good amount of cars here. There is a privy and some cars here as well. Oh wow, is that a presidential car? What does that say? Seal of something. Oh, the Dookie Duke. If you look at that, you could beat a page, Arizona, um, in a little over 30 miles. But instead, we go for this way and do some loops for 200 miles. The point of this trail is not to go in a straight line. Um, it's not the quickest point between two points, quickest route between two points. I, I can dig it. It's a beautiful trail. A lot of road walking today, but really pretty road too. And it's nice to just set the legs to cruise, stretch them out a little bit, so I can dig it. All right, leaving Butler Valley. Oh, she was windy down in there. Wow, really windy. 
Got sunscreen in the eye, which is always nice. Um, yeah, very windy down in there. Whew. Dookie Duke just always likes to play. Oh, don't film and walk this. All right, let's get it. Woo, there's that wind. My goal was to make it to our junction before five o'clock. Rolled in at 4.59. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna take a moment here, contemplate life and uh, make a game time decision on what we're gonna do, go that way or that way. So we're gonna check it out. Whoo, 4.59, I love it when that works oh, out. Oh yeah, she's, record she's recording that. with my knees. Crack that. Oh! oh that so good. Cheers, Cheers bud. bud. <laughs> oh, I'm looking, yeah. looking forward to this. Oh, oh my god. And it's cold. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. It's ice cold. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh. Let's contemplate life, bud. Well, folks, it is six o'clock, and we made the decision to take the tropic alternate. Um, Round Bottom Valley is this, I think. And we're going to go that way. <laughs> Round Valley Trough. Oh, it's not Round Bottom? Round Valley Trough. Around, that Round Booty Bottom? Round Draw Valley. Okay. What's some One of those two. So exactly There's what, no bottom. So exactly what he said, the roundest, bootiest, body, bottomest. Fat um, Bottom Girls. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly what he said. That's where we're doing the alt. Um, there's an alt that goes into Tropic. Regular trail goes that way to the Pariah River. So we sat and debated it for a little bit. Um, honestly, this route looks cooler. So you have, I don't know, 18 miles of road walk to Tropic, which is not the cool part. But then you get to go into Bryce National Park and do about 25 miles that the regular route won't let you do. There's some pretty cool stuff, it looks like. It looks like you get to see all these, like, named, saked icons of this national park. So that looks cooler than kind of wash walking slash river walking, which we've done many a day. Um, so... Honestly, there's a lot of stuff that's pulling us that way. It's hard to say whether it's like the hiker mind trying to rationalize that this is better or what, because one, we get a Nero day in Tropic tomorrow, we get town food, um, we get to have a we get to work on videos, emails, uh, a lot of good stuff this way, a lot of good stuff that way too, but I think I try, we try to distance ourselves from hiker rationale saying oh yeah it's better this way because it's going to town but honestly in all honesty try to distance myself from that thought and it actually looks like the route through bryce national park is pretty cool in this way so who knows i don't know it's utah there's rivers there's mountains there's stuff that we want to see that you can't see all of it how you doing there bud just hearing a lot of grunts from you <laughs> Beat down the logs. So, <laughs> you don't want to? Oh, that's, the, good. that's the only way I hike. It's already a fatty pack. Fat, well, now it's skinny man fat pack. Skinny man and this is the fat fattest two day pack. carry I've ever had. Yeah, you did. Just gonna be able to do double dinner tonight. Fattest, what's supposed to be a two day carry that's now turned into like a one day carry. Oh, there we go. Tropic. So there was service right outside of the big booty wash that we were in. So we called a few motels and one was fully booked, which was surprising. So we called a second in Tropic and it was the complete opposite. The guy said, Yeah, don't worry about it. We're not really booked a lot on Thursdays. Just walk in. But a little bit antsy, not wanting to walk, walk this route and not have a place to stay. So just went ahead and booked a Modi for tomorrow night. Um, he said he doesn't open until 2, but we told him we would be getting there around 12. And I hope we didn't piss him off. 
BC said just walk by and we'll see what we can do. Um, still gonna walk by because we have a reservation. So we'll see. Usually once you get talking um, and friendly and they know you're not just like a, I don't know. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Yeah, just a transient wanderer. They uh, hear your story and they let you, they, they have a heart. They have a heart when they see how broken you usually are rolling into town. So that's nice. We got a place to stay in Tropic. Whether it's noon or two o'clock that we get in, we shall see. But we should be getting into the town at least close to noon. So we'll see what's up. All right, time to find some camp.